right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions. We'll go inside the octagon this where we find Bruce Buffett. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Invincible! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Ooh, what a punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, nice jab. Looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice one-two there. 
Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. My goodness! Good defense to block the strike coming back. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Trying to kick the leg out. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful kick. Slips the punch nicely there. All right, so he lands another hook. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the most important. That was the best one. But what I like about him throwing this punch over and over again, he just has a fantastic ability to land that punch. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defense. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big kick land. 15 seconds remain in the round. Ooh, head kick land, he's hurt. Round two is next. Level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous Ready? round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defense. Nice head kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, you can hear the crowd reaction every time he lands another hook. The previous round, it was hooks and bunches, more of the same here. More of the same, John. You watch a guy who's in a flow, who's in a rhythm, who's in a position where they don't feel like they can ever miss that shot. And that's what we're witnessing tonight. Missed with that right hand. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take... On that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He went high on that one. Well, he felt like
like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. His kickboxing coach is feeling ecstatic right now, watching the guy employ his kick heavy strategy. All right, that's the end of round number two. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Beautiful head kick. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He blocks the punch. A big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Just out of range with the big right hand. Knee to the body. Huge block there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch lands over the top. Kick land. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, big kick lands flush. Hands up. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Sure, he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Can't take many of those. You better check. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Ooh, what a punch. Wow. Ten seconds to go in the round. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the Ready? roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in... Check the high kick. It's over. 
big, powerful punch. Just unable to quite find that range. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Right punches there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Effective punch there by Lee. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. He gets a turn in that kick. Oh, buckled him there. Oh, beautiful yeah. shots to the body. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush knee length. Commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice counter shot there. Oh, wow! Head kick. Oh, he needs to start looking at the oh. He's done it. He's done it. Oh. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Big left. Both fighters throwing heat now. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Twenty seconds left. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Fifth and final round. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. <laughs> Big right hook coming. It's blocked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just misses with the jab. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Just out of range with that right hand. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Oh! Big Big knee to the body. Punches blocked. Oh, nice counter. You can't place it or time it any better. Nice punch lands over the top. And that left hook landed on the button. Back and forth we go. Three minutes now to go in this one. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh! Whoa! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life in the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too.
<laughs> oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What a fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. In. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 50 45, and 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Invincible! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision.